Hello again, Paxi. My name is Anne McLean, and I'm an astronaut here aboard the International Space Station. Welcome to the cupola, the best view of Earth that we have. It's so nice to see you here again today. And today, let's talk about the dangers of space travel and some hazards on the International Space Station. One of the major risks that we can face on station is depressurization. The air pressure inside the station is much higher than in space outside of the space station. And that means if we have a leak in the station, we'll lose our breathable air. One way this can happen is if something pierces the hole of the station, such as a piece of space debris. By space debris, I mean tiny pieces of old rockets from all the times we've launched things into space, and old satellites that are broken up into pieces. These things don't automatically fall back to Earth. Sometimes they can stay in orbit for years and cause problems. Can we see anything out there? I can't either, Paxi. I think it's because they're going too fast and they're too small. More than 18,000 objects are being tracked from Earth, but there are more than 750,000 pieces of debris the size of a Euro coin and millions of even smaller pieces. These are almost impossible to keep track of, and even small pieces can have enough speed and kinetic energy to pierce a hole in the space station. In defense against space debris, the ISS has shielding all over it, called Whipple shields. These act like bumpers by breaking larger fragments of debris down into smaller parts, which are less likely to cause damage to the station. A couple times per year, we perform something called a debris avoidance maneuver, when there is a particularly high risk that damaging debris will collide with the ISS. To do this, we burn the thrusters to change our velocity or how fast the ISS is moving, and this causes a change in our altitude or how far above the Earth we are, moving us into a position to avoid a collision. In order to make sure that we astronauts are as safe as possible from depressurization, we have an emergency exit, sort of just like back on Earth. When we arrive at the space station, we arrive in our Soyuz capsules, and these remain docked to station. The Soyuz can separate from the station within minutes, and we can be back on Earth, all the way down there, in just a couple of hours. So Paxi, I hope that you can see that living in space is, is not a trivial matter but that we do have a lot of systems in place to make sure it is as safe as possible. After all, having these views and this perspective of Earth, it's life-changing, and humans are always going to explore. We just want to do it in the safest way possible. I hope you've enjoyed learning about one of the ha hazards up here on the International Space Station, Paxi. We'll see you again soon, and until then, enjoy the view.